In this video, we are going to be going over how you can use the M Challenge nutrition plan to track your food intake. So the first thing we can see at the very top is the daily summary, which is going to uh, indicate us a, a summary of our day. So at the very top, we have 2,085 calories. That's my caloric goal. However, we see this big red zero, and we see zero protein, zero carbs, zero fats, zero fiber. And what the app is indicating to us is that we have not consumed any food yet because we need to tell the app that we are going through and consuming certain foods. So let's have a look at that. We can see at the very first, swipe left to tick off ingredients. So in breakfast here, let's say it's breakfast time. I'm going to go make my breakfast and I wanted to make a smoothie. I've got a uh, protein powder, cottage cheese, peanut butter, blueberries, some ice, some water. I'm going to make a smoothie here. But when I go downstairs to make my smoothie, um, my blueberries are gone. I don't know where they went. Maybe my kids ate it. Maybe my wife took it from me. Uh, no more blueberries in the house. What am I going to do? That's okay. So what I can do is I can swipe to the right and I'm going to click this green tick button and that's going to indicate to the app that I've consumed these foods. So one, two, three, I've consumed my shred system protein, my cottage cheese, my peanut butter, but I haven't consumed my blueberries. So at the very top here, I see that this number has gone up three, four, three and uh, that's how many calories I've consumed so far. 41, how many grams of protein I've consumed, eight grams of carbs, 16 grams of fats, one gram of fiber from these three food items. Whereas just underneath in this meal summary, we have 42 grams of protein, 15 carbs, 16 fats, three fiber, and 386 calories. So this is a summary of the meal. This is what I would want to be having, 368 calories. However, I'm having 343 calories. So by missing out my blueberries, I miss out on a bit of calories, but that can be okay. As I go through lunch, I'm gonna swipe, tick off that I have my beef, have my avocado, have my feta, have my lettuce, onion, cherry tomato, again, barramundi, cheese, olive oil, beans, beetroot, broccolini, my snacks, have my tread bar, some nuts, some yogurt, some apple, uh, and then finally, I'm gonna have my um, I'm training today, I'm having some beta pumps, creatine, some anabolic night at night time, and then I'm having some shred system um, just after my training session. So now at the very top, I can see that I've consumed 2,061 calories, and it's in green. It's in green to indicate that we are within the threshold that we're aiming for, within 10%. We're trying to be within 10% of 2,085. So red indicates that we haven't consumed enough food, or if we I have chosen to add more food to our program, it's gonna still indicate red if we go beyond 10% of that 2,085. So I've had uh, 2,061 calories within that 10%. It's green, great. So I missed out my blueberries, but it's fine. 20 calories off, not a big, big deal. I've had 226 grams of protein, 77 grams of carbs, 95 grams of fat, and 27 grams of fiber by having all these foods here. So this is a way that we can track our food intake by utilizing this tick feature we need to both swipe and then tick the green box to indicate that we have consumed this meal and it's going to collate at the very top here this can be a way for you to um, moderate and review how many um, calories uh, and and macros you have for the day so if you're curious how many macros you've consumed you can look at that there um, and if you did want to make any major swaps, so let's say we wanted to swap out this entire breakfast for something else, it's probably wise to use the meal summary feature at the very bottom here um, and try to find a meal that has 368 calories and is making a, a full swap um, where you probably want to tick off all these food items, but you wouldn't need to swap every single food items if you were to, let's say, go out for breakfast, you're gonna go out for brunch, you're gonna have um, the breakfast special, you don't need to go through and change every food items. Just know that that breakfast special might be 370 calories because you ask someone or it has them on the menu. You can just consume that, that breakfast special without needing to swap every food item over, making it a little bit easier with this meal summary feature. Hope you enjoy the videos. If you have any questions, please reach out to us on the forum. Good luck.